like a pen brush overlay transition for the slideshow like the one you're watching right now and stay with me i'll show you how before we get started if you're new here subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like this so without further ado let's get started so in order to pull this off we need photos images and also of course we need we need pen brush overlay just like the one you're seeing on the screen right now oh don't worry about that if you don't have it i'll link it in the description below so you can download it and use it we also need audio so you can get that so let's get started drag down the images one after the other you can highlight them and drag them down at the same time or you can do just what i'm doing right now drag them and drop them on the track on the timeline arrange them and make sure there's no gap in between the images and when, it, when we're done with that we need as you can see there's a we have blank space by the side of our image we don't need that so let's get rid of it right click and go to crop and zoom change the, the ratio to 69 and adjust the image and click ok go to the next one right click go to crop and zoom change the ratio to 69 and also make some adjustment and click ok you can do the same to the third image by right clicking or click on this image to take you to the same place then change it to 69 and make adjustment do the same thing to all the other images one after the other all right now that we're done with cropping all our images let's move to animation let's start animating our images right click on the image go to crop and zoom click on pan and zoom then adjust the smaller box you want the picture to start and where you want it to end so adjust it according to those two windows you can click and drag and test it if it's not okay you can click on that icon right there and swap and swipe it Go to the second image, right click on it, go to crop and zoom, click on pan and zoom and adjust the smaller box where you want it to start or end and you swipe it and adjust the other box and align it where you want it to end. And you can play it if it's not what you want, you click on the swipe and the start and the end will swipe just like that. So the, the same thing to the top image, pan and zoom then adjust the inner box the smaller box then swipe it minimize the other one adjust it where it ends or start so it will start from there and end here if this isn't what you want you click on swipe and the start and end will be swiped so follow the same process and do the same to all your other images one after the other just test it if it's okay you leave it is if it's not you go back and don't forget to always click on that small icon right there to swipe it Alright, now that we're done with our animation, you can pre-render it just for a smooth playback. Now you can also preview it and see what we have. You can preview it, just play it and see how far we've gone. If, if, if you're cool with it, you'll leave it. If, it, 
whatnot, we can make some adjustments to it. Yeah, click play, let's see what we have so far. I think everything is working fine. If it's not okay for you, just make some adjustment to it. All right. So, what do we have next? Let's look for our brush, our pen brush, and drag it to the timeline. Double click on it and go to composing, change the normal to screen. And this is what we have. Isn't it looking great? So that's all we need to do to it. You can reduce the opacity if you want. And it will look like this. Or you can leave it 100 percent and it will look like this. So I think I'll leave it, I'll leave it 100 percent it's left to you whichever one you want so as you can see you can see it's very short all we need to do is to copy and paste or you can just drag in more more of it drag it and drop it drag and drop then you double click on it and go and change it to screen change it from normal to screen do the same to the third one and when you're done if it's too long you cut it off Cut, let's cut out the last part we don't want. Cut it off. Just make sure it's aligned with the pictures. So you can test it one more time and see how it is. This is what we get. I think it's good. Now, if you notice the the pen brush, they have audio attached to it. We don't need the audio, so detach the audios and delete them. Get rid of them. We don't need them. We're gonna bring in our shortly. So this is what we have. You can test it and see if it's okay. Now we can move forward. Now let's pre-render it just to get rid of the red line for smooth playback. Now look for audio of your choice and music. Drag it to the timeline. Drop it right there. Test it and make sure it's not too loud or too low. Then, if it's too long, you cut out the parts you don't want. And you can also add fade in and fade out. Yeah, now cut out the parts you don't want and cut that first part. Then the last part, click on that icon right there, cut it and delete it. Now this is what we have. We can test it and see how it is. If you satisfy what you have, great if you're not just go back and make some changes so so take your time and make some changes if you're okay the next thing you need to do is to smash the export button and get your final product check it out If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so I can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also be sure to check out my other videos on this channel as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.